The Donbass is a beautiful land, fertile, green and verdant. But it burns far and wide. Violence mangles the horizon. Here, that violence is centered around the Lysychansk oil refinery. Reaching here was neither safe nor easy. This is a vast industrial zone, surrounded by open terrain, a firing range for artillery. The industrial complex itself, though, is incredibly similar to Mariupol's infamous Azov steel plant, a warren of buildings, tunnels and defences. Just as they did in Mariupol here at the Lysychansk oil refinery, the Ukrainian troops here, the nationalists, they, they built a real fort, were covered with firing positions. They left here, as they did, Mariupol, without much of a fight. But when Russian troops and Allied forces came in, they were met with a storm of artillery and rockets. Nothing has been spared in the endless shelling. Ukraine has thrown almost everything in its arsenal at the refinery. As I say, the situation at the Lysychansk oil refinery remains very tense. Ukrainian artillery, uh, multiple rocket launcher systems, Grad, Uragan, keep firing at the oil refinery uh, in a bid to slow the Russian advance in the area. The plant itself is enormous, but you can literally just point the uh, camera in any direction, wait 10, 15 minutes, and there will be an impact. Ooh. It isn't just the sky and the shells screaming through it that are dangerous, but the ground itself. We were warned in new and certain terms to watch our every step. Now this here is a particularly nasty thing. This is called a leaf mine or lipestok in Russian because obviously the size and shape of it and the color uh, they're re reminiscent of a leaf. It, it would be nigh on impossible to spot this in a wooded area. The explosion it produces if disturbed is enough to tear off someone's heel. And these are all over the oil refinery. The Ukrainian military has been uh, spreading these all over the place, uh, careful, 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 spreading these all over the place via Uragan rockets, cassette rockets, which open up and drop hundreds. The soldiers here shared a video with us showing what would happen if you set one off. And this is what it looks like up close. There's a a glass container, or tube, glass tube, in this section of the mine, which is, which is thicker. If pressed, the uh, glass tube bursts and a detonation happens. It is possible to disarm it if you pick it up very ever so gently, uh, ever so gently by this part, the th thin part, and unscrew the detonator. These shouldn't even be here. Ukraine had signed and ratified the Ottawa Mine Ban Convention. These mines were explicitly banned. It had assured the international community that it had destroyed its stockpiles. What's worse, these are old Soviet make and lack the vital self-destruct mechanism that triggers after three or four days. These could potentially stick around for decades. The Lysychansk oil refinery is now relatively far from the front lines. The thunder and roar of blasts here is slowly waning. But what happened here, the blind mining of dozens of square kilometers of industrial property, of farms and fields, will haunt this place and the local population for years. Morad Gazdiev, RT, from the Lugansk People's Republic.